Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're giving my rubber boat probably the last chance for a long time. I drove to another lake about an hour west from where I live. Um, it's a bit smaller than the other one. There is supposed to be less wind today and there is no rain in the forecast so hopefully today will be more of a success than the last video. We're not camping, we're just fishing so I hope we can catch something. I started out fishing a lily pad patch that was right behind the dock and of course got snagged on the first cast and had to retrieve that and then I just let the wind drift me down the lake. This lake is sort of pear-shaped, so I spent most of the morning just casting towards the shoreline where it gets a bit deeper and then where the lake gets wider, I let myself drift across the more deep part of it. The wind is picking up as most afternoons, but I just secured a lunch spot. It was a bit hard getting here. I don't know if you can see all these stones. Probably not, but um, it was kind of hard maneuvering in here, but we made it. Didn't even hit any rocks. It's such a nice bay. Look at this. There's like reeds all along the shoreline. I just found a not so friendly reminder that snakes are out and about not a big one
got one. Not a big one, but we got one. Oh gosh. Over 50. We're having dinner. Poor little baby, but he's coming home with us. That Xander made me work for it. I've been out here since way in the morning. It's now quite late in the afternoon. I earned that fish. I can't wait to eat it. Dang it. Let's see if we can get another one just for fun. species limit for the day so I'm, I'm kind of just fishing for sport at this point I think I might as well just head home because these clouds are here to stay and so is this wind probably let's get off this lake yeah. is that not the cutest little cabin you've ever seen Okay, so I'm definitely currently docked on private property, but um, at least I'm off the water. It's a bit rough out there. I think a bunch of teenagers were about to offer me help and I got into this bay. And honestly, I think my boat might be losing air because that is very squishy. But yeah. Basically, the idea all along was to float down this lake today and then hike back, go get the car and collect my belongings with the car. Um, what I did not know is that there is a hill between me and the road, but it will be fine. I'll just hike it out as far as I can and then, I don't know, I'll figure it out. Also this cabin on the next island over there oh, it's so cute i don't think you can really see it but it's basically a really old log cabin and it's it's perfect Okay, I'm packed up. This is going on my back. These are gonna go crisscross on my back. That is something that will need to be carried. The fish needs to be carried. And that thing, I don't know how to fit it in there. I'll just have to carry that too. 
let's saddle up. Nothing like carrying a basket full of fish for a forest uphill. We officially made it off of private property. So that's one good thing. Only took forever. Now I just gotta make it to the closest actual road. We have found a road. And I'm just gonna find somewhere to stash all my gear and then I'll go pick it up with my car. Okay, I'm stashing my gear here. I don't think that anyone is going down to that property anytime soon, so I think that's pretty safe. So from here on, it's just a walk straight down that road towards my car for a couple of kilometers. And we're back. I'm just gonna go collect my gear, hope that nothing nibbled on my fish while I was gone. Feel free to criticize my technique here. I have not yet mastered filleting a fish, but basically what I do is I cut down along the spine on both sides of the fins. Then I add a cut behind the pectoral fin and start cutting the meat down, rib cages slowly lifting the meat away from them. People who have always done it just have to deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> that now everything is full. Yeah, all the spots. But that's just how it is. I mean, hey, the more people enjoy nature, the better, right? That's true. If they respect it, and just clean the mesh. And then... Are you trying to call me out? No, 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 no not at all. No, because that's not plastic, and probably if you let it here, other animals will eat it. Yeah, that's why I'm doing it here, because if I throw it in my garbage can, then my garbage can stinks for no good reason. Exactly. But if I just leave it here, something will eat it, and yeah. at least the nutrients go back to where I took it from. Exactly. So but that's no, no, no blame at you. Yeah, it's just uh, me, me throwing it and you saying, if people yeah. can clean up their mess, I'm <laughs> <Yeah>. like, mm. <laughs> Bad timing. Well, <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> but, I'm so sorry. No, 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 no. I don't mean that trash. Okay, okay, thank you. What's really cool on these skins is that you can actually see the pattern on them. You usually only have them when they're younger up here, but that is so cool to see. By the way, this was my view while cleaning the fish. Pretty, right? I start out by salting the fish and then setting it aside while I prepare the batter where I just combine the flour, the beer and a bit of salt and two egg yolks and then let that rest and rise for about 20 to 30 minutes.
in the meantime i'll start whipping my egg whites and then once the dough has risen i'll combine it all loosely and try not to squish out the air too much Then I just drag the fish through the batter and fry it in a lot of oil. And serve it with some lemon and some fresh parsley. It's delicious, trust me. Thank you so much for watching and joining me on this little adventure. Like, subscribe and say hi in the comments and I'll see you all next time.